So hi everyone, if, uh, if anyone ends up watching this, um, I am here with uh, Ken, who, Ken Wells, who is uh, a instructor on the Udemy.com platform, uh, which is the, I think the biggest um, online platform for courses, uh, or I should say the biggest place for online courses. And um, Udemy has, I think, over 9 million students. And Ken Wells is, uh, has like, uh, well, I'll let him introduce himself, but he, he's, he's making a living teaching courses on Udemy. And uh, so we're here to ask him some questions. Uh, me and my friend Adam is here to ask him some questions about how he's making it work. So Ken, thanks for being here. Yeah, well, thank you so much for, for having me. Yeah. Um, yeah, my journey on Udemy started in, uh, in June of last year. And, uh, really only, so it's been less than a year. Yep. I didn't realize that. Okay. So it's, uh, it's, there was a substantial amount of work in the beginning. Yeah. Um, I scaled it much faster than what I've seen, you know, other, other instructors sure. that I've been in contact with. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. So, yeah, I guess the first one is just to give us a sense of your track record on Udemy, um, how many students you have, how many courses you have, that kind of thing. Sure. Um, so right now I have 10, 10 courses that are live. Mm -hmm. um, I have two that are about to go live next month. Mm -hmm. And I also have, like right now I have about, almost 26,000 students in 157 countries. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and is, if it's okay, I'm just going to share your, your course page. Sure. Oh, I guess I have 11 courses. 11 <laughs> courses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You kind of lose track. Just forgot one. You create a bunch. Yeah. So that's cool. Best selling Udemy. So this is your, your um, title, I guess, on Udemy. Yep. Okay. And then um, this is kind of your, your normal uh, or your, course profile page you got kind it of bolding the um sort of the some of the keywords that that you want people to know your courses about um, okay cool and then um so you show shows here twenty five thousand students 11 courses 550 almost 55 reviews and your courses are priced um so so right now udemy's course pricing is between is it ten dollars at the minimum, or the minute It's uh, their pricing structure is between twenty to fifty dollars. Twenty to fifty. Okay. So what I do. Oh, twenty is, is the minimum now. Okay. Yeah, twenty is the minimum. Okay. And, um, yeah. So basically, what I do there is depending on where I'm ranking, and the size of the course, I will you know price it. I will look at my competitors and see like if my two closest competitors are at $20, but I'm outranking them mm. and I'll put mine $5 higher or something like that. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So you, you, that's one of the market research techniques you use is to look at your, your, and how do you, how do you find your competitors? Well, um, it, it really, everything starts with keyword research. Okay. So that's, that's who my competitors are is who is competing for, you know, keywords with me. Okay. So let's say, um, and maybe we could even, I don't know, Adam, if we want to use your topic as an example, or if you want us to use a different topic, um, what if, what if we did a, like a, like a little exercise, a Adam, are you interested in trying some keyword research on your topic or no? Um, maybe we could do the course that I'm kind of thinking about later this year, but okay, um, great. I'd like to, I haven't really done any research on, so I'd love, I'd love any, some new ones. Sure, one. sure. And what is the topic? It's the art software that I use the, for creating comics. It's called Manga Studio or Clip Studio Paint, but basically okay. like a, a course teaching how to make comics. Okay, awesome. Um, so um, I'm just thinking about whether that example would be uh, useful for everyone or for myself and maybe a few others who might be watching this. Um, no, we can use a, a more general topic. Definitely. Yeah, let, Let's use a general topic or maybe Ken, do you have a topic that you're going to be working on? Um, I, I really don't have any in mind because okay. uh, I've already created some courses that, you know. Okay. So let's say, let's, uh, let's, let me give use an example then. Let's say that I'm a relationship coach. 
Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm wanting to create a course on how to have better, you know, better re relationship with your partner. Right. So, so what I would do is I would go to, I would go to an incognito window. For oh, interesting. And why, why incognito? Oh, oh, for Chrome. Yeah. Oh, okay. so you're going to, okay. Let, let's just say I'm not going to use incognito. I'm just going to use this window. Sure. Um, just, I, I mean, I don't know how that is on other browsers, but it's just simply because, you know, obviously your search results are skewed based on your, your personal browsing right. history. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me actually, let, let me actually do, sh let, let, let me actually do share an incognito window then that, that might be easier to, um, to, okay. So I'm just going to share this screen, which is an incognito window. Cool. And uh, what I would do is I would, you know, I usually just go to udemy.com and I would have like another doc open, like, a, you know, a Google doc or whatever. Right. And the first thing I would do is like right here in this search bar, I would just start by typing like a single letter. Like let's say it's relationships, right? So I would type in an R and then an E. Okay, and then I'm looking in this drop-down menu and I don't see anything yet. So now put in an L. Mm. And we have relationships. So even though that's not like, you know, it's still pretty general, I'm gonna I'm going to take those two keyword those two keywords, yeah. relationships and relationship. Now the order that they appear in is based on how much they're searched. Mm. All those ones that say, you know, you see the little icon with the, the page and it says course on the far right. I don't, right. don't, I don't pay attention to any of that stuff. Just those keywords above. Wow. Okay. Just these. Yeah. So I would take probably, I would put those three relationships, relationship and relationship building. And I would put them in that order on a Google doc. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now, now put in another a, mm -hmm. okay. And Still nothing new, yeah. so then a T. Relationship okay. coaching. Now, relationship coaching just popped up. Yeah. I would throw that at the bottom of my list. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, now, you know, again, keep just, going with an I. Right. Just keep going. Still Probably. nothing new. You just, you just want to keep going until we see something new here. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's see. Relationship yeah. marketing. You know, relationships relationship coaching, coaching versus relationship coaching. I guess, okay, when it comes to these kinds of differences where there's like an S versus no S, what is your take on it? Well, I just, this is just the preliminary. Like this is where I'm just getting ideas. Later right. I'll, I'll do some other things to kind of condense it down and focus on which keywords I'm going to target. Got it. Just giving me ideas. So I just kind of like type out relationships one letter at a time like that. Yeah. Kind of let me actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to start a Google spreadsheet and I'm going to um, just as a, as an actual exercise, share this, share my screen so that you can see everything. Um, okay. So we had relationship, we had um, ships, relate, relationship, um, relationship, relation building, building, um, um. see what else we had. Relationship coaching. Relationship, relationship coaching. Well, it looks like there's ship and ships coaching. coaching. Right. Okay. I think it was um, this one came first. Coaching, coaching. Yeah, yeah. and then and then. Um, what, so do you? Do you actually like order them? Sorry. I that I do I do, but you know, at this point, we're just kind of getting ideas. So. Then, then if we go back to that, um, that search, so I would just go all the way through and, you know, see if anything else pops up, doesn't look like there is now, if you want to get more, um, Oh, here, here's interesting. Some interesting. Yeah. Things. There you go. Happy relationships, happy relationships, bad relationships, bad relationships. <laughs> relationships diagram. That's weird. Yeah. Um, Okay. And then interestingly, there's two types of personalities that are especially interested in relationships, ENFJs, which I'm on the borderline <laughs> of actually. I'm, right. I'm, ENF now, uh, I'm assuming, usually I'm assuming that I have a, a more specific idea, right? right? And so if it doesn't relate to uh, personalities and relationships, then obviously I'm not going to put those down. Right. But 
I'm just putting down, you know, happy relationships, bad relationships. And then like, let's say, um, the, yeah. you know, let's be more specific. You, you mentioned that the idea was how to have a better relationship. Yeah. Let's, let's actually be, get even, even more specific. Let's, right. let's how to have a better relationship when you have kids. Okay. Like, you that's, know, maybe that's marriage. Pretty, or, yeah. That's pretty specific. So, yeah. um, you know, I might start with how to, you know, and so then oh, I'm starting. Interesting. Um, yeah. So I just H wait, slow down though. Cause oh, okay. you might get ideas as you go along, but you just kind of okay. do each letter just like we did before and just yeah. kind of see what's popping up. It's interesting. I think, I think given that there's probably too many H's there, they're not showing it or maybe you have to refresh. Yeah. You just, you just got to keep going like uh, H O. Oh, I you see. Go till okay. you kind of start seeing stuff pop up. Right. Just start spelling out like okay. how to have a good relationship. See nothing so far. So we put the W in. Okay. This is weird. Look, look at these. What is, what is this? Do you know what the, those numbers are? No. Is that a course number? Is that I have, I, honestly, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> um, maybe it's a Udemy bug. Maybe they're showing us how many people are searching it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. how to have. Okay. How to hack a computer. <laughs> how to have. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. We're gonna okay, say, yeah, there you go. After having kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, how to have school, how, how to have school, that's weird. How to le have less fear, and more power. Hey, Ken, maybe you should teach a class on that. <laughs> you could teach a class on that. Um, how to have, okay, so this is weird. So how to have better, let's just say better. <laughs> yeah, apparently people are really interested in that first one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think this is just on you to me. <laughs> okay, how I became much more productive and how you can too, that's interesting. Right. And you can do that too. Can write that down. <laughs> uh, how to how to how to, how top start can have a void business. Um, okay. I think a good course title would be how to have fun sex because that's clearly near the top. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, this this also is helping you to you know maybe refine your idea. Like for example, if you look midway down through the list, it says how to be a better lover. Right. So maybe maybe you started off with this idea that you're going to help people have a better relationships mm -hmm. and you decide based on this, you say, well, maybe I can focus this on just how to help someone become a better, you know, be a better lover as an and example. And then also, also how, to, how to be better loved. Isn't that interesting, right? Right. Um, so I kind of use these to help me define my idea and I'm just kind of putting everything down. Yeah. So um, how, to, how, oh, how to be a better loved. Oh, that's probably just a miss, just a typo. That's weird. Um, okay. So, all right. Let, let's say that we've done, we've done this, this keyword research and we just kind of tried different uh, questions or different. Yeah. So you, you go it. through and you, you think of, you know, uh, what do people type in? Like they, it's how to dot, dot, dot in relation to whatever your thing is, right. how to, you know, uh, parenting, yeah, um, got it. techniques, you know, parenting yeah. techniques or relationship skills or relationship yeah. techniques. And you mm -hmm. just find the most relevant keywords that are showing up in the list. Yeah. And you make a list of those. Once you kind of define which ones, you, you know, most fit what you're trying to do. Yeah. Then I head over to, you know, Google keyword planner. Ah, okay. And yeah. this is really the litmus test. Uh huh. Um, so then I start plugging those words into the keyword planner. Right. Now, let me ask you this. Do you, do you ever click on any of these and look at what courses are available? Sure. Okay. So if I like click on parenting, for example, um, parenting. Okay. So let me just kind of, let me log in a Google keyword planner here while we're doing this. Um, okay. So, so, but, but what I'm hearing you say is you don't do this next. That's not, that's not your process. Is to look at the courses that are on right. there. You don't do the, you don't do that next. You, you actually go to keyword planner next. Uh, I'm doing, I, I do the keywords first. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to find, in. once I have my keywords targeted, then I go look at the competition on Udemy for those specific keywords. Uh, okay. So, so I'm obviously we don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to speed up the process and let's just, I'm just going to pick a random uh, one that seems good. Okay. Um, so in the keyword planner, obviously in, in this video, I'm not going to teach people how to use keyword planner, but right. um, I'm just going to say relationship, um, 
happy, happy relationships, you know? Okay. Yeah, but see, I wouldn't, I mean, even though it's on Udemy, you know, if you look at the search results here, I mean, it's 170. Yeah. Yeah. So, but what, what, what is your litmus test for what, what would you go for in terms of numbers on the Well, I, I mean, I look at the ones that are the most targeted, but you know, it's gotta, it's gotta have at least, you know, a, a few thousand, a few thousand. Yeah. To even be I'm, considered. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just say, I'm just going to, going to go down and quickly pick one, um, from the list here. Um, and do you, do you have an upper limit? Like you don't, you don't try to go for competing. No, with... I, I try to find the ones that are towards the top of the search results, but that are like, if you have a scale between very targeted and low results and very general with high results. Yeah. I try to find the ones that are like right around here that are more targeted, but still have a healthy amount of results. Right. Okay. For example, okay. Marriage counseling, marriage counseling. Be, so if your if your course was focused on that, that would be a good one right there. Yeah, marriage counseling. Okay. So, um, well, but then people taking a course on marriage counseling might be wanting to become a marriage counselor. I'm, I'm guessing. Like if they type in marriage counseling, like they want a marriage counseling degree maybe? Um, I don't know. I think that that's probably more people that are interested in getting counseling for their own marriage, I would think, and, unless it was like marriage counseling certificate or marriage. No, I mean, I know, like if they type into Google, I, I, I think that's true. But if they type it into Udemy, though, you know what I mean? Like they type into Udemy marriage counseling, I imagine. Well, at the end, at the end of the day, I'm just using that to get a sense of if the keywords that are showing up on Udemy also have decent amount of search results on Google. It's right. not to say that there's this guaranteed correlation that there's going to be a ton of people on Udemy. I mean, really the, the, the courses that, you know, everybody does seems to do very well on Udemy are like programming courses and business courses. Yeah. That's really their bread and butter, but this is just to give me a sense of, um, you know, if there's really even some, some, yeah. Some, uh, interest. So so I'm, I'm going to say healthy relationships. That's a, you know, quite targeted and it's a yeah. couple thousand and uh, you know, $2. So that's commercial viability. So let's right. say that that's the key word, healthy relationships. Okay. And of course we can, we can, so uh, I would just yeah. search that and let's search that. And what you notice here is um, so if you go to that top result, mm -hmm. click on it. They have 2,300 students and 32 ratings. Okay. So that's, they have a little bit of traction. Okay. It doesn't mean that you can't beat them, but those mm -hmm. 32 ratings, you know, you're not going to be number one overnight if you're competing with this person. Now there's some things you can do with keywords to be more relevant. Like for example, they started their, they started their title with build. Right. Whereas I would probably start it with the keywords of healthy relationships and then put a colon. Right. And then put some things yeah. after that. Now, what, what is, uh, you to me probably doesn't reveal this, but what is your feeling of what is most important in the search results on you to me? Well, it's keyword relevance, which is again, putting it at the beginning, but that alone won't get it to that. That alone is not going to help you beat that top. Yeah, because like, for example, codependent no more has no, nothing. I mean, there's, there's no keyword. Well, okay, so one little side note. So Udemy keeps testing a lot of different things. So oh, it's not okay. a perfect, you know, and look, yeah. I even show up on the first page, even for an anger management course. Oh, which, you do? Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, you there. Yeah, you that's are. not even one that I'm trying. I'm not even trying for that keyword. Yeah. So why but, do you show up here? Why do you think? Be, I, honestly, maybe because the course has a lot of students and it's got, you know, it's, it's very well rated. There's probably a lot of minutes consumed for that course. Ah. Um, it does have the word better relationships. If you look in the subtitle oh, there, there it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you, that, that's part of the reason. Okay. So what Udemy is looking at is yes, you want to do things from an SEO perspective of, you know, putting your keyword at the beginning of the title. If you want to, you know, if you look at my title and subtitle here, um, so anger management was the main keyword. So that shows up first. Yeah. How to control anger was the second thing that I wanted. Oh, I see. Got it. Right. And then 
ha- uh, better relationships was one of them, and then mm. reduced stress was another. Ah, uh, I see. I see. So if I type in reduced stress, maybe you'll come up. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Well, there he goes. Oh, number two. Wow. Both of my, okay. Yeah. Both of my courses show oh, up. <laughs> number <Yeah>. one. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really good. Okay. So what do you do next? Now that we, let's say we, you know, we, we let's say we pick the title and the subtitle. What, what's your next step? Um, so once we've identified how, so my strategy is always to rank high and let Udemy carry the, the brunt of the marketing for these courses. Yeah. Right. I don't do a lot of outside marketing. So everything that I do is about getting these to rank as high as possible. Got it. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I would do next is what else do you do? Yeah. What, like what else do you do to get them ranked high as possible? Well, another factor that Udemy looks at is enrollments. Now here's, here's where a lot of people, especially when they're starting out, they're so afraid to give their course away for free because they're afraid that like, if they give it away for free, then nobody's going to buy it. Right. And the reality is, is that's not the case. We have to always remember that the internet is a very, very big place. (laughs) So I give out a lot of free coupons. I have a a virtual assistant that has a schedule where she's constantly giving out free coupons. Now I have her do it. What do you offer them? Yeah. Where do you offer the free coupons? Um, Facebook groups. There's certain sites I've identified that, uh, I also give them out for free. Ah, uh, okay. So that you works know, really well for you that you're giving out the free it, coupons? It, it does, but you have to get, you can't just go to the same places. You kind of have to mix it up. Now, yeah. one of the, one thing that I do different than some instructors is that some instructors will basically like, they'll do a post with all their courses for free. Uh, I don't okay. think that's a good strategy because what I want is I want someone to come in for free on one course right. and then they're going to now start receiving promotional announcements from me for paid courses. Right. So I, I give out yeah. select courses to select areas to get people enrolled, which not only helps my rankings on Udemy because again, Udemy is also wanting you to build their email list, which is why they still honor that's why they look so heavily on enrollments right. is, you know, you're building their student base. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so the free, so you really, you emphasize on giving free coupons for specific courses in the relevant Facebook groups and other websites. Yep. Got it. And what, what else do you do to rank so high? What else? What's another? Well, thing? another thing is, is, um, and you know, Udemy's changed a lot of things recently. Okay. So yeah. where, where it stands right now is you really need, they're prompting students three times to leave a review. Oh. They, they prompt them right when they start. So after they've mm-hmm. consumed about 10%, okay. they're prompt. Yes. So you need to really come out of the gates really strong and fast. And that's actually been a challenge with the most challenging course that I have with Rate, uh, ratings is what you just saw on the last page there, the stress management course. Okay. It was identified that it, you know, I just got off to a slow start there. So I, I need to reconfigure that so that they get kind of like a really strong start in the course. The so first 10% we- of the course needs to be really good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to see Adam, do you have any questions you want to ask? The, the only question that I thought of beforehand was um, essentially like, what what is the benefit of selling through Udemy as opposed to you know through your own website? And is that exclusive? Like, do you, if you put something on Udemy, like, are you limited to just Udemy? Is it exclusive there? So, so excellent questions. Um, to answer your first question, you know, the benefit of Udemy is the fact that they market your course for you. So, and they also walk you through every step of the, they, they basically give you a roadmap of how to create your course, what to do next. So it's very plug and play. Right. Whereas when you're creating it on your own, the main thing is you're responsible for your own marketing. And there's a lot of decisions you have to make to, you know, how do you want it branded? How do you want your sales page set up? Whereas on Udemy, you just fill in the the column. Yeah. Fill in the. But if you wanted to do both, is that like in their terms of agreement? 
Mm. Um, and I think, yeah, your second question had to do with if I put my course on Udemy, does that mean I can't sell it somewhere else? And it's your content. So you're not violating their terms. You can sell your course every, you know, anywhere else you want. Okay. That's awesome. Um, well, Ken, I want to respect your time. So what, what is the, if, if, if you were starting over on Udemy today, what would you do differently or what would you keep doing <laughs> besides what we've talked about, of course? Right. Um, I think, uh, and in some of this, you just, I mean, it just, you just learn how to do it. I mean, uh, like one thing that I do differently today than when I started is it used to take me like a month to create a course. Mm. Whereas now I create smaller, more targeted courses ah, that are okay. shorter mm. because what, what, what's the ideal length in your, in your mind for, for you actually, what, what do you, well, I mean like for example, and, and I also look for ways to really leverage my time. Like I did a webinar yesterday, which I recorded mm. on a topic that right. I also did keyword research on. Right. So I already did all that before I recorded the webinar. So that webinar is about an hour and a half. Right. And I'm going to turn that into a course, yep. which I'm going to pay someone to do the video editing. Right. Yeah. So it saves yeah. my time. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to put that on Udemy mm -hmm. so that it can start earning me residual income as well. Yeah. So then you have to, so, so that's great. So the entire course is an hour and a half. Right. Okay. And then the Udemy has a limit of 20 minutes maximum per, per uh, lecture on Udemy. So you just chop up the hour and a half into what, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. What, what's your suggestion for ideal length well, of each lecture? Yeah, apparently through, re, you know, according to research, I guess like two to three minutes for uh, uh, length per lecture is good. Okay. You know, you can't always adhere to that, but um, your average lecture needs to be, uh, I think less than 10, you know, the average length of lecture needs to be like 10 minutes or less. Okay. Yeah. So, so two to three minutes is really kind of people's attention span um, on, on Udemy and probably elsewhere too. I, I know it's on, on YouTube, like my two minute videos tend to do better than, than other mm -hmm. ones, but I, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of don't care and <laughs> just kind of like whatever, but, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and one, one more thing is, I mean, you've got beautiful graphics. Where do you get your graphics? Oh, great question. So Udemy does that for you. Oh, oh wait, wait a second. I should say that Udemy gives you the option, but you can also upload your own graphics, right? Yeah, you can, you can upload your own, but I, I, since the very beginning, I let Udemy do that because they have a vested interest in your course doing well. Got it. Okay. And so they're going to provide you with at least as good a graphic as, you know, you're probably mm -hmm. likely to find on your own. But e even this video thumbnail graphic, that, that was from Udemy too? Yeah, it's, um, they do that part automatically. Once they okay. create your thumbnail, they throw that on the, on the front end of your. Right. Video. And this is your, this is your current brand. Yeah. So, so then basically you, you recorded this video, mm -hmm. um, you know, you do this and then Udemy threw up, um, threw, Udemy put up a, <laughs> threw up a thumbnail graphic. Yep. Okay. And the thumbnail graphic. Oh, the thumbnail graphic is the course graphic. It's the course logo graphic. You got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, Ken, is there anything else like you want to say before we adjourn? Um, I, I think, you know, you could make Udemy a full-time business if you treat it that way. I would say that, you, could, you know, also look at, as with anything you're going to do online, look at multiple different, um, income streams. Yeah. You, you know, because Udemy is a, they are a marketplace. They do, they, they can change their rules at any time. Yeah. So, you know, don't yeah. put all your eggs in one basket, but it yeah. is a great, it is a great platform for someone starting off to mm. really just quickly put a course together, get it online and start making money. Awesome, man. Well, I, I hope those who are watching this, if we do share it, uh, will follow you and buy your courses and, uh, um, kind of see how you do it, how you promote your courses from the student perspective. You know, I think that'll be useful. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And yeah, uh, thank you, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, I guess I'll end this video now. And uh, here we go.